we're here at Bridgewater Costco with our man Frankenstein. We're gonna ask him a few questions about forklift safety. So Frankenstein, tell me, what is proper use of the forklift when coming out of an aisle? That is correct. Second question, what is the proper etiquette when bringing a forklift to the floor while we are open? That is correct. And you do need a manager, do not forget. Paul's go wholesale again here. At times it can be kind of rough getting open. That's why it's very important for our drivers to work together as a team and a collective unit. Thank you, Wolfman. He's using proper technique moving out. Unfortunately, he did not use his, uh, his horn, which he should have, but he's smiling right now. Good job, Wolfman. Use your horn. Cross go away. That's Rumble Stillskin. He's sweeping right before we open. Good job, Rumble Stillskin. Keep it up. These are our people. They're coming out to the floor with the scissor lift. As you see, it's a proper technique of two spotters and a manager in a harness. They are led by Top Gun. The manager inside is uh, Ray Mysterio. And the back guy is the Cosmic Wonder. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate that. Just so you know, it is not a forklift, it's a scissor lift. He's saying forklift because he's used to it. Proper safety, people. That's what we preach at Bridgewater Costco. Proper safety. Notice the harness. Keeping the area clear, very good. Coach first, goes around, very smart. Ginger child, thinks about it. I don't think so, Ginger. Bridgewater Costco again with Xena the Warrior Princess. Hello. We're gonna ask her some questions and see what she's got. Okay, our first question is, what is our return policy here at Costco? We make the member happy. We bring everything back. We have 90 day return policy on the electronics, but the members can also call the concierge service and they can deal with the warranty issues through that. So we're here with the juggernaut and we're gonna ask him a series of questions. We only take a, a returns to the store under 90 days of televisions, cameras, and some stereo equipment. The rest of the time after that, they have to call concierge service and they take it from there, and up to a two-year warranty. Now, we also offer technical support on other items, such as GPS units, um, the technical support again on the TVs and the cameras and things like that. Most of our electronics that we have, laptops, uh, tablets and things like that all are covered underneath the concierge service. We are here with Sanka from the Jamaican bobsled team from the movie Cool Runnings and we're going to ask him a series of questions. And our first question is, what is our return policy? On what? How about you share with us everything that you know? Like television? Like okay. a 90 days policy, 90 day return policy? Okay. And what if it's not a TV? Say it's toothbrushes. Return it to receipt whenever you... Return it to receipt anytime you want. Okay, second question. What is the coupon adjustment policy? We will adjust your coupons. 
gonna make you happy. Cooper adjustment policy. I never get that one before. No? Okay. So we'll okay. move on to the third one. Second question. What is your sign? Pisces. What is our policy for price changes? If the signs are wrong, out on the floor, we'll make the adjustment, correct the sign on the floor, and give the member the price that they saw on the floor. Again, any, making the member happy. Any other price changes? Do we allow for any other kind of price changes? I'm sure that we do, to make the member happy. That's very our goal. Good. Okay. Very, very good. Very good, Zena. Much, Jen. Thank we you, Zena. Zena. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Have a good day, Zeno Warrior Princess. Uh, Make sure the price change for the wearer was open. I'm sorry? Make sure the price is adjusted before the member get to the product. Okay, so we're changing the prices on the floor, you're saying, so the members aren't before, asking? Yeah, before we open, so they have the correct price. Okay, so say the, the price dropped on the floor. Say they changed the sign and you bought it four days ago. What is our price change policy on something like that? I never got that one before. Yeah. Okay. Final question. Did you know Jamaica has a bobsled team? Not really. I only saw it in a movie. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Saga from Cool Running. Can you please go out to produce and actually tell them that we need a box of right No, away. I never got it. No, you sent me the membership instead. Sent the refunds, and I've been dealing with this that since then. That is an example of bad communication. I'm just writing it down. So, but you didn't tell me that you did not go over there and to have somebody else. Uh, you know, Marco, sorry about that, buddy. Thank you, Lisa. Got I'll have somebody else do it. Sorry. Wah, wah. Situation unresolved. Boxes are still not on the front end. Excuse me. Yes, sir. How would you resolve that situation between those two guys? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay. How would you resolve that? Some lady that I, I never met. I would reiterate. <laughs> I would reiterate the appropriate way of communicating. Share the information that you're asking them to do. Ask them to repeat it back to you so they can effectively uh, execute. Why? What do you need to do? Right over there. You don't, you don't see that? It's fine. Let me let me show you. Just just recover the end cap right there. All right, every time it's a mess, I have to be the one that has to clean it up. Come on, Pat. Right over here, please. It's pretty simple. I just want you to I want you to take the boxes here and just reorganize them like this. So everything looks nice for our members. But no matter what I do, the members come over and they just grab it and they just throw oh, it on the ground anyway. Pat, you can understand your frustration. So every time, no matter what I do to clean it up, they just mess it up. I understand your frustration, Patrick, but I really do need to take care of that. Okay? You, I know you'll do a good job. I mean, I understand what you want. Do you, do you need, me, need me to show you more how to do it? You want it to be lined up like the rest of them are? See, um, I want full boxes. I want you to fill them down as best you can, okay? If there's a big hole, then um, just pull the next box back up and uh, everything should be straight and organized again, okay? okay? That's fine. Any questions? No, I can handle that. All right, thank you, Patrick. No I'm gonna come back and check on you in a few minutes, All right, okay? thank you. Thank you. Are you okay with what just happened with your manager? I guess so. It's always something, but yeah, I guess it's fine. How would you feel if they were talking to you in a different kind of light? Maybe ask you how you were, how your day was. If it was maybe a little, maybe, yeah, that would be nice. How you doing today? Can, I, can you maybe help me out with something? Yeah, that sounds cool. What's going on over here? I work on the end cap. Oh, I just, you know, I just, they're here, it's here, I'm, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. I see you over here talking to Lou, um, it's really not acceptable. I'm trying my hardest over here to do everything, you know, I'm just, I'm trying, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I understand you guys are friends, you want to talk, whatever, I'm, but... Personally, I'm not even, I don't even like him either. Look how busy we're getting up here, you know, I need, I need to get this done already. I'll, I, you know, I, that's fine. I'll get done. Alright, I'll, I'll let you slide this one time. I, I, I think it was a cool.
Alright. I'll try. Make sure you keep that in the back of your mind for now. I'll, I'll remember. Alright, thank you, Patrick. Keep up the good work, thank okay? Thank you. That's thank you. That end cap looks great, by the way. Thank you very much. Not too good. This is just always a mess. I, they keep asking me to keep cleaning it up. It's just too much. It's just too much to do. Did you need some help with this? I can, I'd be more than happy to help you out. If, Spend if, a couple minutes, show you how we can organize if, it and make it spaced out. Yeah, if somebody would help me out, that would be great because this is just too much. It's too frustrating the way that everyone else is talking to me. It's just too Something much. happened just now? Um, not really. It's just, you know, it's just the same kind of thing over and over. And it's just, you know, the members make hey, everything Pat. a mess. Pat, what is going on over here? Didn't we just talk about this? I know. We did. Uh, I, you know, I just, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I tried it and look, I, I already did this and right off the bat it's already messed up again. It's only two minutes since I've been finished. Right, come on, let's, uh, let's take this in the office, Pat. I think we need to talk about this some more. I'm here for you, she said, and we can. Pat, we could tell that you're really struggling today out there fixing that end cap. And we always want to provide a very clean, neat um, area for our members to shop. We want them to be satisfied with the products. What's the heart of the problem here today? What's really bothering you? It just, it's just too much to do. You know, they're just too, what the, the members are just showing all the stuff that I'm cleaning up. And the you know, supervisors and managers are telling me to do a hundred different things. And it's just, I just, you know, I just, it's just too much to do all at once. Is there something that we could do that might make it better for you? Or maybe we can give you a variety of other jobs to do instead of the same thing? Some, yeah, is, are you looking for something else to do? It might be just easier just to switch it up every once in a while because it just gets too much with the same thing and just dealing with the same kind of uh, issues over and over. It's just, it's just a headache. It's just too much. Do you feel that way when you're on register or over it's, in photo? It's, in photo, no. It's always peaceful. It's very nice. You don't have to, you're not getting bored that. It's just you know, it's, the members aren't coming after you. Up here is just a mess. It's always a mess in the store. And it's one thing with me is I hate a mess. And it's just always a mess. Well, we try to make sure we work with everybody as a team, and that include, includes your supervisors and managers to be able to assist you. We want you to be happy, happy employees, keep the place happy, and the members happy. So, why don't we discuss with your direct supervisor and manager about maybe switching you off back and forth between the two schedules? and see if we can alleviate some of the stress on you, but this way we are taking turns with the other employees. And uh, if you need a break or something's going on or something personal is bothering you, feel free to speak to somebody that you're comfortable with right. and if that would help you out throughout the day. Yeah, that does sound like that would help. That would be good. Okay. Cool. Do you have any questions or anything else you want to let us know? No, I think that's it right now. Everything else is that okay. That would make you feel better? That would be better for me, yeah. Make sure you talk to your direct supervisor, and I'll make sure I talk to the manager and see what we can work out for you, okay? Right, I appreciate your help. Feel free really to come back to us anytime if you need Thank to talk to us. Thank you very much. Now give me a high five. High five. Cheesy. <laughs> Are you getting it? <laughs> That's good. Welcome to Central Bay. You want them over here or yeah, up there? Uh, let's put them right here so we're not in anybody's way. Alright. Is that good? We, we're putting them here from now on? No. Um, see, we got a little problem, Dante. Um, these boxes are no good for you on the front end. See all these all ripped up and all that? I can't even reach these boxes in here. I mean, I don't know how tall you can reach, but I'm only 5'4". I'm only I mean, these are going to fall down on my head. That's not safe. I can get it though. Um, no. If you bring these bins up here, you see this one over here? Take a look, take a look at these over here. Which one? 
Oh, that one there? Yeah. Okay. We we bring these boxes up here so that our members can take them and use them uh, as bags to carry their groceries. But they're boxes. Yeah, we use the boxes. You know, they load them up in there. They put their clothes in there. They put them in there. They can carry. Okay. Yeah, they don't put a good home. Members want three boxes. Okay, there's a couple in here like that. We can put those out, that's good, but the rest of them we're going to have to take them back to the truck because they're out of our way and we have the empty bin to, to fill up with the big boxes for our members. Oh, okay. so make sure you get some clean boxes. We want um, boxes that have four sides that you can load up using um, sturdy boxes that aren't going to fall apart when you load them up. Stuff themselves pretty heavy. All right. All right, and uh, nothing too too big or too too small. Hey, so I'm gonna be able to put a good amount of stuff, but not too much that you can't pick it up. So should I go through these right. and find yeah. those good boxes and then maybe throw the bad ones away? Or? Yeah, that's a good idea. And if you see any garbage rollers while you're in there, make sure you leave that out too. We don't want any garbage in our in our bailers. Um, okay. We do like to keep the cardboard separated. All right, no problem. I didn't understand. I mean, you had some boxes. I thought I was doing a good job. I bought you plenty of boxes. I mean, this should last us about, what do you think, maybe two hours? It's, it's my fault that I didn't explain it to you well enough. Um, I'm sorry for that. Right? All right, no problem. You can, you can take care of that in a few minutes for me? No problem. Fair enough. All right, thank you, Dante. You got it. Stranger in a no-name town